Hi everybody and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video and gameplay. Today I have a super fun video for you. Um, I didn't even know if this deck was going to make it into a video. Just something that I was messing around with to see if I could get it to work. But we end up having a super funny video and a a a um, broken game at the end of it um, so hopefully you guys will wait and see but let me go ahead and explain the deck here that I have and what we're running so this is a discard Zoe with Zoe Jinx we were testing out the new card stress testing where you remove fleeting from all cards in hand when I'm discarded draw one fleeting <clears throat> all right so this is like a multiple use card so it works really well in a in a deck where you want to draw a lot helps to level up Zoe because it's a burst speed spell we can use that to level her up or we can use it to cycle through the deck and get more uh, cards to put out. And relatively, we have a lot of cheap cards in our deck that help to level up Zoe. So 18 1 cost, 8 2 cost, 6 3 cost, 7 4 cost, and only 1 5 cost. So really easy to cycle through the deck um, with all these draw options. Really easy to level up Zoe. Um, we've got decent protection for her with Pell Cascade and with Bastion. So just a lot of ways to level up and cycle through the deck. And um, we're including Jinx in this deck for that kind of same reason. This is a hyper draw deck where we can draw a lot. Um, none of the units really cost a whole lot. And so it's fairly easy to level up Jinx as well. And the reason why I wanted to pair Stress Testing with Targon as well, not only is it pretty good for Zoe, but there is an interesting card in Targon um star shaping that's not the card but um a card that star shaping can produce so invoke a celestial card that costs seven or more then heal an ally or your nexus five so this was kind of the basis around the deck um i was going to um, build a deck completely around living legends, but realized that I didn't work too good in a in a discard deck where you're trying to draw and and fleeting cards and anyway a lot of like the producers of living legends are expensive cards like Aurelian Soul, and so not super good drawing fleeting versions of him only to have him you know not really be useful <laughs> like at any point in the game anyway so living legends fill your hand with random random fleeting celestial cards refill your mana to full so yeah this is just kind of the gimmick is that we would have stress testing in hand use living legends and then be able to keep all of those celestial cards in hand um yeah spoiler it didn't happen and we're only running one star shaping we've got two behold the infinite so there's a small chance that we get it from that but um, yeah, on the off chance, you know, this is a kind of a tech card for aggro, nothing else. We have the potential to draw living legends and then use <laughs> stress testing if the stars align. Maybe that's a pun, I don't know, maybe not. Anyway, so that was the basis of the deck. Um, we're also including the fangs, a new card here. Play, invoke a celestial card that costs three or less. So just more, a little bit more lifesteal anti-aggro also works really well with Zoe. We get lifesteal into all of our units at the end of the game and we're able to, you know, kind of sustain through a lot of the damage. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So like I said, there's kind of a funny ending, definitely a surprise ending. I was surprised. Hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Demacia. Four champions. From Demacia. Interesting. Let's try to find Zoe, I think. Don't get it. In fact, our hand is worse now. <laughs> Alright. Out of all the one cost cards that we have, <laughs> we drew four twos. This is a most likely a Bannerman deck, and. Yeah, not looking particularly good for us. We want him to open attack here. It's fun. Let's go with the charger. Not a lot of mana. I've got Jinx in hand, so... Eh, yeah, we'll put it out, I guess. <clears throat> I don't have Zoe. Oh, my goodness. That is pretty bad. I'm going to pass. <laughs> See if he's got single combat. Mobilize. One, two, three, four, five. Who approaches? Vanguard Lookout. Interesting. I think we just go for another invoke. 
pick up a second charger. What are the chances that this guy has a... Are you kidding me? Okay, Radiant Strike. I was gonna say, if he had a, um... Now that's not a very good card. He used Mobilize and he had that in hand? Hmm, it's questionable. Chainmail. Oh, interesting. Okay. I think we are going to take four damage here. We go. Hey, you there. All right, stress testing. We do not have a very good play. So let's, I guess, go like this. Oh, hey, there's Zoe. I drew a ton of cards. We definitely want this. Going to silence. And we're going to attack with Jinx and Zoe. Won't pass these walls. Nice. We're going to use this as a Nightfall enabler. Well, I can't use it anyway, but I, if I had two men, I would have kept that for as a Nightfall enabler. Alright, Quinn. That's a little annoying. Stun the tough guy and Valor. He's not going to attack with Quinn. Still or he is. <laughs> well, the chances he's got a second radiant strike. I guess we'll get it out of him. Fine. These two are stunned. And, um, the block with this one, I think. What's Zoe at? Five of ten. I don't think we're gonna have enough to level her up before she gets killed by Valor, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Alright, so let's go like this. I think we can level up Jinx. Not anymore. Hmm. Alright, that's fine. 
Nothing that we could do with that anyway, so I think this is okay. Charger or Messenger. What's so we at? Seven of ten still. Let's pick up the Messenger. I do have Bastion. Wow, he has enough to play that. Okay. Courage, soldier. So replacing this, we're going like this. To do moon silver. And we don't have. Oh my goodness! What is this? Gonna stun this guy. Okay, Moon Silver's back, everybody. We're good. Ready, boy. It's too bad it's not a fast speed. Um, we're gonna let that one go. Kill him and level up Zoe. Alright. Of course, we don't really have cards in hand. So that's a little bit of a problem. Let's hope we get a better card here. And Jinx is pretty good. I'll take the Jinx. Can I use this? Alright, good. So we want to go like this. And we just gotta level her, level her up. We need to be able to take out this guy. I think we have to attack with her even though he could have another barrier. <clears throat> and uh, the cool thing is about this combination, as you'll see, and that I don't think he realizes, I think this counts as a super mega death rocket. <laughs> so. <laughs> Whether or not we win, I think that was worth it. <laughs> uh, Living Legends. And actually, I think we have to take the Charger here, which sucks. Because I don't get value from anything else, really. I have to spread. Ooh, star shaping is so good. Alright. Who do we block? Gotta let these two go. Uh, it's 
not enough, is it? No, it's not enough. Should we go for Living Legends? <laughs> okay, this should be enough. He could have a Judgment. Randomly. Zoe isn't doing a whole lot for us, so I think it's okay to sacrifice her. Oh, this guy's taking forever. Alright. Nice. I guess if he has Rally, we just lose, though. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't have Rally. <laughs> That'd be awkward. Okay, no Rally, hey. <laughs> Alright. The things. Hmm... I don't get a lot out of that. Things is nice though. <laughs> Gotta make sure to do this in the right order. I discards. Oh man. How do I do this right? I think I have to play the fangs first. Alright. Let's pick up Moon Silver. The messenger, I guess? I don't know, I took too long. I really don't know what the right move was there. Um, alright, so this is good. We've got two discards. So we go like this. I think we just go for Nexus damage here. I'm one off of, of lethal, so I need to draw like a Zoe or something. Oh no, she's. Is she. What does she have? She has Spell Shield, Life Still, and Overwhelm. Okay, we are still good, I think. Yes, we are still good. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry that took me a little bit. We should be good unless he has a barrier. I don't know what his last card is. Alright, now we just attack with everything and hope he doesn't have a barrier here. Even barrier, I guess, won't save him. He needs to have some sort of life, because she's got Overwhelm. So I think we're good. Alright, I didn't intentionally rope here. Let's see if he has... I mean, if he has, yeah, like, Sharp Sight as his last card, that's gonna suck. But, um, oh my gosh, she, <laughs> they had to tame, oh, that's crazy. Oh, what the, what just happened? What just happened? We broke the game? We broke the game. Okay, we found a bug, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> we broke the game. <laughs> okay.
Well, that was fun. I think what happened was, was um, well, Jinx had spell shield on her, so no matter what that guy did, I was going to make contact with the Nexus, like, if he had a targeted spell, and so um, the Detain went through. It ended up going through when it shouldn't have because she had the Bastion from way earlier in the game. She had the spell shield on her, and then once the Detain went through, the game was like, oh no, like, she should have made contact with the Nexus, and so it was like, boom, hit the Nexus, zero <laughs> health, you know? And then it was like, but but the detain went through, so that can't that can't coexist. Like that that, that didn't work, and um, then it crashed. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It's kind of funny. Um, that counts as a win in my well, no, it does because the detain shouldn't have gone through. That's still a win, even if it didn't count um, on my score here. But kind of funny.